everybody, and welcome back to another episode Pushing the Limit of Vanilla Minecraft with your host, Meh Flap24. So, we are in the doorway, or my current doorway, of the castle that I've been working on so eagerly, too. And now, we talked about last episode the river. So, you see, there's a river behind me. That's not man made, that is naturally occurring river that will probably connect the next piece into, but. Let me get your thoughts and opinions on the sky. How, what do you think of the sky? No, nope, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, I, I did go ahead and place some lights where the fence posts, where these are in the river. So, if you do see that, that's why. Spider, like, just spawned right there. So, yep, so that's basically the river. Now, I really like the shape of it. However, I'm not too sure about the lights. I wanted to incorporate lights so it kind of illuminates the glowstone but you can't really hide the glowstone too well because like it, when you hide it you lose the lighting effect basically is the only way I know how to explain it but so anyways let me come down this rough staircase but I decided to go with smooth sandstone right here to kind of look like to give it the feeling we compacted the sand underneath the castle to sandstone and give it a nice hard like presence because I'm dodging the spider and then through there I made this gate oh I'm running into cactuses and things and then from there I made hang on stop interrupting my video okay and I made that gate so yep this looks pretty good you can swim through it so that's really cool Yep, so you can like come by boat I guess if you really wanted to or you can take the royal entrance over here I've just started working on clearing it out Yep, there's some bad things all over the place This is lovely Okay And then so yes yeah, so over here I haven't started and you, then you saw that this river doesn't actually lap around the this uh, tower because I thought it would be cool if it was like right into it you know but I might remove the bottom floor so it looks like you know where like like a well this almost reminds me of a well that kind of how the river ended up because I like how it looks over here but over here I'm not too sure so we might go in and pull up the bottom floor of this by a block and then that way we can have like a well looking area and we might have like a secret entrance or something or Something of that. I don't, I don't really know yet, but this is looking great. Uh, gate? Huh? <laughs> great? Great? Oh, okay. No. But however, what I don't like is this. I was hoping that the water would, like, touch it still, but it did not. So all we're going to have to do is remove this. Oh, for, you, for those of you wondering, with the new water mechanic, well, I don't know how new it is, but with the water mechanic, it this did not take me long to do either. And then we come over here. Ah uh, yes, over here. <laughs> Last episode I was using endstone here to place these. And I placed them incorrectly. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I did that, but I did it, so I went through. It actually didn't take as long as to mind as I thought it would. But now that is correct. I actually dug it one too low over here. So I brought it up by a block, so now it's exactly the same as over there, and it's looking fantastic. Yep, so I haven't done the water or the gate looking things, and what, I, what the plan is, is to continue this over here. So we're going to get the water, and then all the house are going to be on the outside, but I think if we can do this. Let's see, so it'd be like here, here, and then let's see, it'd be here, and like, and maybe there, right, like this. Yeah, but the, I'm gonna do like some fountain thing, and all the rivers are, and all the rivers gonna. <laughs> flow into here so it's gonna look epic and I have 16 levels and I want to ask you guys a question and and I need to or what I want to know if it's like a new mechanic old mechanic slightly old slightly new kind of deal 
So I had no idea this was existed. I wonder if you take a look over there, the my the infamous diagonal has not been resolved. Like this looks fine in here. But it just okay, cause look. Okay, so that's a corner, that's a corner, but this is a straight one. So that means that's has to be a corner then so it I don't know. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thirty. I just shot the thirty frames for a second. No one else logs on. That's weird. Alright, so anyway, so I want to add that's not what I want, want to ask you guys about. You come down here. There's like sixteen levels. Alright, that's a pretty good amount. Right? You know that that's what I thought. But I had no idea. So this is that way too expensive. Okay. Now the weird thing is is I've repaired this pick before. And then it says this way is too expensive. Okay. What if I try changing the name? No, okay. But you can change the name, but if you put it back to how whoops, back to how it was, it doesn't do Now, the other way I've seen do repair tools is like ew, too much stuff. I got to clear out my inventory. Let me just deposit this sand. Boom. Any, yep. Boom, boom. Okay, and now the other way I've seen it done is like this. With this, I mean, I put that pick away. We can just leave those there. And we'll come back and we'll pick those up. It's like this. Now, that doesn't work either. And I was like, okay, maybe it's backwards. And as you can see, nothing happens. So can you only... So the theory I've come up with is you can only repair the pick a certain amount of times. So that's why that doesn't work. And that kind of stinks. Or maybe... Yeah. Because then now we're going to have to get a new silk touch pick. Or if there's some other way that I'm not thinking of right now so what I want to do today so finally we're <laughs> what we're gonna do today is what I want to try and do see if I can find or no 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 that's what I, let me take you to actually you know what I've been procrastinating this let's just do it I should have some rails somewhere that I can Yep, move that villager. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna move him. We got stuff in. We got stuff with a Z and an L and a W to move things over here. So all we're gonna need to do first, actually, is say, hey. So what? Yeah, I'm probably gonna work on some redstone today too. So what we're also gonna do is say, hey. Now you can no longer escape through there. Boom, boom. In case something does not go according to plan, this is what is called a contingency plan. It is a backup in case your other one fails. So we're going to, and then we're going to have it all locked in. That's good. And then, yep. Just make sure nice and secured. Nothing can get in, nothing can get out. And this is the way we're going to bring him through because it's obviously since he's right there. Now, for some reason, I feel like this is going to go either horribly correct or horribly wrong. So let me just go ahead and adjust this for you guys. Now, that means we're turning off hostile creatures. Not only mean you won't hear the villagers and the iron golems and the zombie and pygmy, but I found out is hostile creatures, for whatever reason, are actually ladders as well as. Oh, not ladders. I thought it was, but a bow as well. Cause I, or maybe my game was just glitching, because that does happen from time to time. Like, oh wait, I should have been laying track. Gosh dang it. So let's see. Right here, maybe? Uh, hmm, I don't know. So, I guess we just start placing it and we find out. 
go ahead and go. Oh, we're gonna need. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Already messed it up. Dang it. We're gonna need a bunch more track. It's not that bad because we do have a little over a stack of iron left, and we do have some more. Dang it. Can I not? I took. Hmm. What I would like to do is get a different farm of chicken set up pretty soon as well. Or actually, what we're going to probably do is work on the priest's house because I have an idea formulating in my mind on the priest house, which is the type of villager of how I want to do his house. And yes, I know it involves sandstone, but it's going to look good, guys. Trust me, it's going to look good. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. This. Yep, let's just do this. We could just bring it over as it fits our needs. Oh wow, I thought I had way more track. Yep, actually, nah, scrap it. Now we've got the first. What? I'll go and get more tracks together. What I want to do now is because this is what made me think of bringing this other villager over. If we come on over here. What? Hostile creature. Uh, of course it's friendly. Dang it. Now we can go back to the ladder example and I'm sure dang it, dang it, I knew I knew it. Something was Oh, did I lose volume? Oh, nope, okay. This sounds weird. Oh, I guess you don't have the sound locking on. I guess any sound you make as well doesn't transfer through when you have hostile creature or friendly creatures off. So I don't know if that's a bug or whatever. Now we should hear the walking on sand. Yep, alright, it's back. Okay, but what I want to do right now actually not it's kind of related to the well, it, if you kind of bend it we're gonna come down over here oh wait and by the way I need to go over to this ender chest and I can show you the prize yep creeper damage a lot of it there's an ender chest over here and ooh, oh baby can you wear it? Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm the weather, you. <laughs> okay. Back. For whatever reason, there's another under chest on here. I didn't place it here. But I think it's gonna have to move. Eventually, because what I wanted to do is start this is that zombie spawner we talked about and this is kind of how it works so you have the zombies they spawn up there with a in a 9 by 9 room they come down here they, you cut them off here and then you press that and that's a crusher now what is interesting is if you, you give them wa enough to dr it will take one heart worth of damage and I think okay 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry but if, okay, so what is interesting, if you give them like one heart's worth of damage drop or whatever, it, and crush them for uh, as long as this timer is, you should be able, okay, theoretical science, bear with me, you should be able to get them to one hit kill, but you can't, or I, I'm just, so I don't know if they're taking damage before they're reaching here, before they're reaching their, their final crusher destination, and that's what these were for because they weren't reaching one hit kill by punching them, not equipped with they th anything that says plus five attack damage or plus six. Whoa, and I'm sorry about that. I guess I will be right back. Okay. 
Now let me just show you the spawner. What's also interesting. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so build up things. What's interesting though, you see over there. And um let me see if I can not die while I'm in here. Go up one more. But there. And I'll, I don't have an automatic collection area. But what also is interesting is there's light from another sword. So that's that, but I don't know how to. This is all where the water's flowing down. Yeah, let me just place a torch. All where the water is flowing down should be spawning spaces because it's a spawn in a 9 by 9 however it does not do that so I'm not too sure if you guys have any suggestions and this room is terrible there's no stairs you gotta jump there's chest everywhere there's glowstone and random nooks and cannies the entrance isn't even even like yeah there's an ender chest there's a cave behind here that we so we have plenty of the space to still expand just a very rough mock-up of the spawner, but what we're gonna do now, I think, is head back, and so I'm gonna undergo this project off-camera, and I'll just show you the final result. I just wanted to give you like an in-depth analysis before I demolished it. But so I think what I want to do now is head over to the my base, put down, put this wither skull away, not die. And head over to the Guardian farm to see if anyone else has been on and making progress because I don't, a lot of times I don't play during the evening and a lot of times I don't check it. And it is a group project, however, <laughs> at times it may not feel like it. And then you turn back on. Run away, run away, run away. Oh. See, that's another thing though, too. I can hear them, so. Hopefully, by them being so far low, like on the base, I can't hear them from above. It would be in a, the most ideal situation for me. Okay, so on the way back, I will I'll go to the Guardian Farm, and I will see you guys. Welcome back, Welcome everybody. Day. So, we're at the Guardian Farm. There's been no progress made. It's hard to say that I'm disappointed since I expected it. Yep, I. Man, it's just unfortunate. I think I wanted to re put really push the envelope after this episode to get more people on the server. Because this is not fun. I want to play with other people. I don't want to play by myself. When yourself does everything do everything and it's not nearly as fun that was the point of the server true I can't complain got some free gold free lapis let's do a quick little thing while I talk to you guys oh hey hey I, oh I have my fortune pick on me hey hey blue is my new favorite color true conveniently not light blue. Mm -hmm. It's okay, actually, I'll take that too. Ooh. Sell it to the villagers or something. Oh, man. There's obsidian, so it means that one. <sighs> yep, I'm, I'm mining everything except the di diamonds. Alright, let's see. One. Two. Four. Okay, good. I was gonna say, really? Fortune three, four diamonds, and we're only gonna get four? Wow, dude, this cave is littered. This is literally right underneath the guardian farm. This is like the most exposed resources ever. Free stuff. Yay! Yay! Yo. More redstone. Hey. And I have not done any redstone yet. I will though, I will, I will soon. Be on the lookout for when I do redstone, it'll probably take me like 25 hours or so to do it. 
because I don't understand it whatsoever. I'm almost at level 30, so m may m maybe next episode, if everything, if I don't die, and everything kind of goes according to plan, we can get a level 30 enchantment. That'd be pretty rad. Also, want to see about updating the server because the new 1833, I think, is it at right now? Or four? It's either three or four, or right now. We can get some. And then we can, like, be officially in it. We're just like. Oh, speaking of dines. Oh, oh lord! Oh, and I have hostile sounds turned off. No, 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 no. I got diamonds. Um. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Probably a bad hostiles. Okay, made it way too loud. Oh well. <gasps> nope, give me that. I need to defend against the greenness of this world. Oh, wait, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Mine, my diamonds. And your buddies over here. Don't think I forgot about you. Yeah, they knew it. Wow, that's loud. Dead end, yep. You can just kind of tail by the structure, I guess. So there's sand up there. Interesting. Probably pretty close to the... Yeah! Where we started, true. So there's been no progress. Yo, I was only down there for like 2-3 minutes. Look at all that loot, though. Oh, yes! The loot is here. That loot is here. Ouch. I don't know why I said ouch. But I did. <sighs> Iron block. Building blocks. I really just want to get this built. Mm, man, it's hard to say. Because the problem is that I don't, if I would like just did a whole episode on this and showed me like finishing this piece. It'd be like this most of the episode, and you guys wouldn't be able to see anything whatsoever. I can see things because on oh, my monitor it comes across different than it does on my e broadcast recorder, and then on top of that, on top, with an extra lemon on top, those are all my slime balls. By the way. On top of that, I have to go, oh wait, here's some sand. So some sponges are in here. But on <sighs> actually, I really don't want to die. That's probably <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm almost at level thirty. I do not want to die. Okay, guys. Let's hope you guys did enjoy this episode. But make sure to go ahead, subscribe, and hit that like button. And until tomorrow, guys. Peace out.